Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we're done with the ship tour. Took two whole episodes. <laughs> Just you wait until I get more people to talk to. <laughs> it's gonna be taking ages. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy stealth drives. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Intel. Uh, yeah, so the freaking little map. <sighs> It's gotten a lot riskier. Just you guys freaking wait till we get chased by a reaper and have to go hear the boy. It's the worst. It's the worst. Where is this me? I think that's me. Also, is it do it? Yeah, I just said uh, I didn't know if anybody else noticed, but I just noticed at least in these screens, uh, the mouse pointer is a little Normandy. <laughs> But we don't really have anything else to do. We need to go... We have a couple of things, but we're gonna go rescue the Turian Primarch. Which means we have to activate the stealth to get into these systems. Yay! A scanning pulse uses to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel. Uh, beware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you're in, wait, flee, and wait until you've completed a mission before returning. Yeah, so. Or you can just outrun them. It's not that hard. You can just run through a system, but you can't scan. You can try to go boom, straight to the planet. I don't know if there's a benefit, really, to scanning outside any planets. You know? I think sometimes if you scan near the relay... But also, it's like, get fuel, but, like, we still have fuel depots. You know? At least some. Uh, I am gonna click on the planets. Uh, because each planet will have a update on sort of the Reaper situation in the area. Had a substantial terrain garrison. The garrison is now gone. The Reapers drove the terrains off and destroyed the available machinery. Reapers appear to have moved on. A few Vola ships are now visible, likely present to scavenge the wreckage. I'm sure the Turians are super stoked about their Volus, um, what is it, like, subsidiary people, um, salvaging and scavenging their stuff. Impair. Can I scan? No, can't scan here. It's, uh, blah, blah, blah. Rubble mining was once lucrative here. The planet was named for Atrin Impira, the Turian Machiavelli, whose ambitious political philosophies led to her reign as regent in the continent spanning the Allen Empire for more than a decade. She famously combined citizenship tiers with a meritocracy rather than a caste system which served to strengthen her empire. This practice fell in and out of favor for centuries before its revival early in the Turian's age of nation-states. Interesting. The Turian Machiavelli. I read, I read Machiavelli's The Prince and like a couple of other little like works that he had, like attached at least that was like attached in that particular book. Um, and like it was interesting to actually read because um, he's not. He didn't really make it as a politician, so it's very interesting to read his work. Because I thought Machiavelli was like a super scheming, you know, like I think in Assassin's Creed like two or. Revelation, not Revelation, maybe Revelation, I don't know. One of the Ezio Assassin's Creed's, you meet Machiavelli. And he's a super schemer, and I'm pretty sure he turns traitor <laughs> in the end, which, surprise, you know. Um, but, yeah, I thought he was like a backstabbing schemer. And it turns out the real Machiavelli never really got very far in politics. Like, he was, he was, um, oh shoot, who was the family, um... Oh my gosh, one of the big Italian families that he like got on the bad side of, not the Borgias, um... Medici's, the Medici's. He like helped get them out of power, kind of, um, in whatever city it was. And then when they came back, they tortured him for a long time until they found out that um, he wasn't actually a super big part of it. He was just associated with the group who uh, knocked the Medici's out of power for like 10 years or something. Um, but he never even rose in the ranks really with the new group and then the Medici's never trusted him and he just basically wrote a bunch of treatises until he died. He was never given, he, he was, the prince was written to the like head of the Medici house to try to um, like garner respect and like a, a position, a political position with him. 
Um, nothing ever came of it, you know? I mean, he's got interesting stuff, but it's just funny that a guy who was, at best, it seems, a mediocre politician is so highly quoted, you know? Uh, the Reaper invasion largely ignored in Paris, and he only took him force to destroy the scientific equipment. It's probably just like one Reaper. It's named for an ancient philosopher and author. Her enormous tome service features a lengthy chapter on laws that form the basis for the Turian concept of citizenship tiers. The Turian defenses on Calyx were not completely destroyed, which is unusual. Maybe the remnants of the scattered Turian fleet regrouped in using the planet for cover and eliminated the satellite hunting Reaper destroyers before their mission was complete. The destroyers are not like the freaking dreadnought Reapers. Like the, the Reaper Reapers. The dreadnoughts are those like the smaller purple ones that we saw that destroyed the shuttle at the beginning of the game. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, more likely, the destroyers found a way to comprise the defenses, compromise the defenses through wireless hacking, and the unmanned drones present now obey them. Haha, <laughs> which we don't even know. We don't even freaking know. You can only speculate. Alventine, named for a tactician philosopher. Mm hmm. Nay, a, a, a treatise on leadership is known by every Turian youth who pays attention in class. Uh, the Reaper invasion force and what little they had there has been destroyed. Palavin, the home world. The only thing on this planet that isn't silver are the Turians. It's all too clear they're made of steel. This was this was Alliance hero John Grissom's impressions of the Turian home world Palavin, seen by humans for the first time following the first contact war. Uh, yeah, he went on like a tour or something. Um, also, side note, uh, was I thinking, um, James Vega, his little, his story about his, uh, squad is in a comic, one of the comics that they made for Mass Effect 3, I think, uh, obviously, and I feel like there may have been like a small animated thing, but that might have been a fan thing that I saw, just like a blur above, but he's definitely, he's got a comic for him. The Turian's martial aptitude permeates every aspect of Paladin society, from architecture to art to politics. It's no surprise that their homeworld was never occupied by an invading force until now. The Reapers, aware of their er oh, where enemy's reputation, brought overwhelming force to Paladin and did not hesitate to bombard cities that resisted, and all of them resisted. The dust and smoke from pulverized cities is now a breathing hazard across much of the planet. Water and power supplies have all but vanished, still the fight here has cost the Reapers dearly. Paladin's weak magnetic field means solar radiation levels are greater than those found on other habitable worlds. Yeah, that's why the Turians have those, like, the the covers, essentially, that they're actually, they're not, like, that hard. It's not, like, scales or anything. Um, they're actually quite soft, but their skin is, like, sort of a covering. Um, a very thin covering that kind of helps protect against the radiation. Population estimates, pre-invasion. Yeah, I guarantee, there's no, there's no Turian city that's gonna try to, like, schmooze or give up, you know? They're all the very martial whole oh, yeah, like it permeates their society. So each one's gonna be organized into a civilian militia of some sort, you know? Um is there it doesn't have like a a hundred percent or whatever on these, you just gotta click on them. Scans indicate the Reapers did not destroy the surface facilities as possible. They either did not see them as a threat or plan on using them for their own purposes. Heavy Reaper destroyers serve as a skeleton crew here, backed by a capital ship in case the Turians... A capital ship! In case the Turians attempt to retake the planet. Is that what to call the big ones, not Dreadnought? Hmm. I guess I could check my codex! Woo! It's got the whole Reaper classification in there. Let's go! First 10 minutes, woo! Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy. They classified all data on Monet because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons. Some information is like doubt. Images of train bases where personnel walk without a virus suits indicate advanced infrastructure. Reaper's plans from bombarding the bases was met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses, but their easy victory stalled. The Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. 
So the moon is, is extremely essential to keeping Palavin. To keeping what they can of Palavin. This is all I got. Also, I did change my difficulty in time. I checked, you have to change your difficulty, and I'm sure maybe somebody's already said this. Um, you have to change your difficulty um, before leaving Earth. So you can modify in this screen. Why would I freaking go to a workbench? Perfect. Especially because the workbench at least didn't let me, um... I need to be beefier. Oh, melee damage. Cool. Oh, but I need to get, I need to get down this line very soon. Oh, jeez, I meant to dang it. Anyway, I lost track of what I was saying before this. The Turian ships are so cool. They look kind of like them, which is kind of odd. Um, because, like, human ships don't look like human heads, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so, the Reapers look so good in this. And look at this, look at this. It's like, oh cool, you've got guns, but I will literally run into you. It's like in Mass Effect 1, where a freaking Sovereign just plowed straight through. And it seems like, oh, there's like a crew of people in these Reapers. No, the Reaper is an actual sentient being. It's not being controlled by a little army of individuals inside it. It's wild. We're just gonna sneak past that. Whoop. We good, everyone? I oh, need to no. get. No. I need to get Liara some armor. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Worse. Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. We're jumping. Where are we dropping, boys? And girls. Oh, let's go. This is gonna suck. Oh, I'm, I have the wrong weapon to want to be doing anything. can't freaking do anything. All right, we are right. crowd control. Get in, get out. Let's move. Let's actually. Did I did it not catch them? What the hey hey? Wow, the the freaking area of effect on that. Look at this ship. It looks so good. Great. Hang on. Where's nope. Uh, I realize that there's fighting going on. How do I... How do I move the camera? <laughs> it's easier with this. Uh, what do I... Yes! Photo mode! Love it very much. This is a very dramatic shot. If Shepard could be out of the picture, that would be super great. I'm pretty sure... Hide player on. Yes. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Like, I realize it has the bloom effect and stuff, but it looks really cool with that. Like, it's like coming out. It looks very heroic. Look at that. Photo mode! Yay! Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's a Reaper on the moon! <laughs> Hang on, let's try to get. Oops, oops. Hang on. Um, I'm just gonna mess with this for a minute. There we go. Turn the depth of field off. Yes, there we go. Free 
freaking heck. I should have done photo mode on Earth. I totally forgot we had photo mode capabilities. The game is like, listen here, you. I'm trying to get all, but the Reapers are so huge. Oh, and I love, okay, this is kind of like um, Ghost of Tsushima. Where, it, which Ghost of Tsushima is a gorgeous, beautiful game that I love very, very much. Um, but it has moving particle effects in the photo, which I love. I mean, you can turn that off if you want, but I like, it would be perfect to just like sit down and like record an hour video of just like the particle effects moving through sort of a still scene. Oh, it's gorgeous. The, the, like the cherry blossoms and the leaves and stuff. It's so beautiful. Anyway. Wow, look at this. This even, this looks like photo mode worthy. Look at that little Kodiak. Ah, oh my gosh, look at it. It's so gross. Oh, they're so horrifying. I hate them so much. Oh, shoot, look at this. Oh, you guys look super cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is not Garrus. Is that Garrus? It's not Garrus. The face doesn't look right. But shoot, look at that. Anyway, this is a dope. This is dope. Look at these. Look at these guys. This is a dope picture. I'm so good at this. Oh, I should be taking. I haven't even been taking the photos. Okay, I'm done. I'm done doing that now. I spent okay like 15 minutes. Oh, I'm freaking. No, none of that now. I hate these things. Very much. Look at the mm, I hate them so much. They take so much damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. Enough of your shenanigans. Oh my gosh. Hi. Soldier, which way do your commanding officer? I love that they're like totally cool with just like letting me freaking in. They're like, no, yeah, this is totally fine. Letting a human run around our war torn, you know, planet and all, moon. Yeah, we'll find we'll find Garrus when we find the camp. Look at that thing. Look at that thing move. Look at his little leggies up there. That's disgusting. Commanding officer. Garrus, where are Garrus is not the commanding officer, but. The reinforcements haven't arrived. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Hmm. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. Harsh, Shepard. He just lost his Primarch, and you're like, that makes things harder for me. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Pasks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Garrus, where are you, Garrus? I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Yes, but 
Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here. I was like, that doesn't really- Knowledge of the terrain doesn't matter to, like, the big reapers. Um... But, oh, hey, look at me. Um... But it does when you're dealing with the ground forces. Look at that. They're, like, trying, and, like, it's just walking. It's just... The thing is, is I feel like one reaper could take care of this whole moon with that laser beam, you know? Hope not journal. Squad. Give me... I, can't, I don't know how to do it with the dang name. I want health. I probably want health. Decrease your... Melee damage. Increase melee... By recharge speed of bio to charge. After an enemy is killed by melee. Increase... So we could just really tank our health up. Like, or I guess tank, tank doesn't really work. We could really just bop our health up. I don't know. Um... By a lot. I kind of I don't use melee a ton, but it is a it's nice to use in this game. But this I feel like I'm gonna be boring and just like boop 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 go go this way, you know. Or I could do the melee damage and then this one and then this one, you know, to kind of spread. Uh, but it's early game and I'm getting my butt kicked a tiny bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and increase my shields. Let's see, what do you want? Kind of. I really want to do her powers, but the health and shield stuff is good. I really do want her to be survivable. All of them I really want to be survivable. <laughs> James. I like the frag grenade. Impact radius is already huge. Let's do damage. Alright. I just front roll onto this thing. I did. I did. Look at that. Don't mind me, just- oh, wait, hold on. The Viper. Dang it. I'm gonna pick up Garrus in a second, I'm pretty sure. I really wanna ask him- Wow, look at- they're just- they got all this human gear out here. How convenient. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm just picking up money. Intel. Couldn't get up that. This is probably a Sir, shuttle carrying the fighter mechanics has not arrived. How many more? 29, sir. Have been coming. Every serviceable fighter yes, sir. in the air. ASAP. Got it. What? Can I no? Okay. Gotta keep an eye out for goodies where you can. Does winter gear not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears filtering units instead. At least it'd be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Look at all this stuff. Also, I should be wearing my helmet. Oh no, wait, that was a different place. Up and on your left. This is the main barricade. Um the radiation issue. Uh, I assume it would still be a problem all on the moon, but maybe not. Let's get cracking. Uh, let me also move into the not quite so smooth, but I think that's the yes yeah, to come. Time to go ham. And hope for the best. Also, just wait. I think we get to see the Torian husks introduced here. Hello. Go away. 
Yes. Alright, now we are a don't miss. Actually having the uh, singularity and the bombs would be a nice combo. But I may also want to save that for larger targets. So they did increase the damage and not the impact radius of the grenades. That's inconvenient. Uh, James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Yeah, uh, James is not actually the best person for that. Here they come. But ready, Liara. Um, you bet. I Let's take these monsters. I like the singularity, so uh, she gets to stay with me. This is excellent. Oh, there was one right behind me. Whoa! Look how freaking spooky their faces are. I hate it. Yeah, get out of here. I don't want to deal with none of you. Why are they coming from two sides? I don't like it. It's nice though, my charge ability is just wrecking and they have no armor. Like no shields and nothing, you know? I can just faceplant these guys. Which is horrifying when you think about it that I'm like getting blood and guts all over the place. What now? Oh, I need to turn off. Canyon usage of their abilities. I prefer to control that. What now? We go now we now. General, do you read? Com tower is now operating. Again? Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palafin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Oh hey! Shepherd out. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna chill here. Just... I need to practice using the malaise. Very nice. It's horrifying to think of all the blood and guts getting on me. Oh, there's cat hair all over the place in his house. Please. I am a little bummed that I don't get to use my Omni tool. I get, like, uh, for, um, my melee. It was pretty cool to have like your Omni tool come out because it looks kind of like a sword anyway. And I think in some promotional material they would sometimes have it used, but like it was never an in-game thing. Commander Shepard, come in. But in this game Go it ahead. is. I have information from Palavin Command. Please return ASAP. Sure thing. On our way. Let's go. L ah, luckily. Luckily the husks hurt and decided to give us a break. Get me off! Let me in! Give me Garrus! Oh my gosh. See, this is what happens. I upgrade a weapon and then I freaking... I'm 
actually going to stick with this one. Here, I'll let James Vega play with the scimitar. As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. Ah, uh, harsh, Shepard. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the prime. Garrus! Garrus? <laughs> yeah! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. What? Good to see you. At ease, General? I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Which is good for us. He's very similar to Garrus. And that he's not like all oh, he's not like hidebound, you know? What do you mean? On Tetris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus, that should be something to see. If Garrus likes him, then I like him. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Yeah, except we have a freaking. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander, Shepard, come in. Uh oh, problem? Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's ah, sense. yes. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. That's now, okay. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming harvester! <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Yeah, buddy! I'm right yeah, buddy! <laughs> Garrus is somebody... I didn't take him out very much in the first couple games, uh, but I take him out almost exclusively in, um... Hey, you so hard? A little thinner than I'm used to we should be wearing helmets, honestly, just for safety purposes. You're gonna have this out in the field? Oh, there it is. There it is. Hang on, let's... A Marauder. Turian Gith. For their their military strategic, they're usually the leaders on the battlefield with the husks. They'll give the husks some um, like bonuses, certain things, um, like I don't know, like damage and defense buffs and stuff. Um, they're the commanders on the battlefield, given the Turian proclivity for uh, martial aptitude. Uh, and the human ones are just fodder, <laughs> just get thrown in. Um, the Batarian ones are big, nasty. I don't like them. Just kind of, I kind of like the Batarians. No, I'm not big. They're just kind of nasty. Like, um, their a lot of their cultural stuff is not great. It's built on slavery, it's a slavery empire. So not very nice. Um, but yeah, that's what we have so far. Just wait. Just you wait. There's more. 
It's gonna be good. It's gonna be freaking good. I'm gonna uh, get me out of here. How do I get out? Okay. Um, Garrus, do you still have? Oh, I need to hang on. I need to shoot. I need. Okay. Oh, I will do this later. I'm gonna call this episode here, but I will level level up Garrus. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Welcome back, Garrus. The only thing that keeps me sane in Mass Effect Three is Garrus. So. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Miss Kalito, my Sapphic Jim patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my Tree Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest, and I super duper appreciate it a lot. So thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.